Hello, hello, what is going on? If you could see my kitchen right now, <laughs> I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you guys. Um, and the wall behind me looks a little bare, right? I have decided for the next, I don't know, week, however long it takes me, maybe longer than that, I am going to transition all my chalk couture pieces into autumn and fall and Halloween. So my whole kitchen table and even the floor and the chairs. So Eric, if you're watching, um, I'm glad you're not home right now because I am taking over the kitchen for the next week so that I can <laughs> Just get all the fall stuff out. We have, I think I shared pictures with you guys. We have some of our fall wreaths up. We've got mums outside. Um, we've transitioned, like half transitioned our entryway um, in the house and then like the front porch. But I really want to bring it home because I have so much stuff, so much decor. Brand new catalog, who has seen it? Let me know. If you haven't, let me know, I can get it for you. Um, my inspiration is coming from the catalog. So I have probably for the next eight or nine projects, it's all gonna be autumn, winter, autumn, fall, and Halloween stuff. So these are this is the color palette that I'm pretty much gonna use. Um, lots of oranges, yellows, like rust color, black, the shimmer paste colors, um, some purples. Uh, that's kind of my theme is what I'm thinking. So what I'm going to do today, I have the house to myself right now. It doesn't happen very often. Um, I'm going to use this transfer. Autumn is the year's last loveliest smile by William Bryant. This is actually, um, you can buy the transfer just by itself, but it's actually part of our Try It kits. Uh, and if you haven't heard about that $20 deal special, just let me know in the comments below. And also, as you guys are coming in, we have lots of new folks that are finding us and sharing the chalk love and we appreciate that. Um, this is what I get to do full time. Uh, this and uh, I teach CPR and first aid. So those are my two businesses. So I'm very blessed that I get to do this as my job and decorate my house. So I'm super excited. Okay, um, yes, yeah, so if you're brand new uh, or even if you're not, let me know as you come in, say hi, let me know where you're from, where you're watching from. Uh, I'm really bad about watching the screen because I'm supposed to be wearing glasses and I can't see a whole lot. So <laughs> if I'm ignoring you, that's why I just can't see, but I always go back to the comments and I'll reply back. So I decided for this transfer, I'm going to use the five by seven palette board. Um, it's double sided. This one actually came damaged in the package. So I let Chalk Couture know and they sent me a brand new one, but I don't wanna just let this one go to waste. So um, I'm still gonna use it and then I'll um, repaint or I'll do something to the back of this. But the palette boards are double sided. So you could choose to do a project on one side and then the other side as well. Um, so it's really nice. They're very smooth and sanded down, which I like. The palette boards come in a few different sizes, uh, two different sizes, I think. The five by seven and nine by 12, I think. Uh, the chalk transfers, they're reusable anywhere. The company backs them anywhere from about eight to 12 times, but all of the brand new transfers come with use and care instructions on the back. I'm gonna walk us through. This is a nice, real small, simple project. So once I get started, it's really not gonna take me very long. I just, I just talk a lot. So I like to chit chat and hang out with you guys. 
right. So the transfers, they're super sticky and then they come with a backer sheet. So save this, don't get rid of that. But I've got my um, buzzing cloth, which is just like a microfiber cloth. Um, everything that I'm using today, it's available in my shop. So if you see something you like or you're interested in or you have more questions on, let me know and I can point you in the right direction. But because the transfer is really sticky and I'm using it on my wood surface, I want to what we call fuzz the transfer. Basically, I just take the transfer and I stick it on my microfiber cloth or if you need to, if you don't have one, you can just stick it on your t-shirt. So I'm just picking up just a little bit of fuzz so that once I put it on my surface and peel it up, it's not gonna get stuck or rip or stretch. That helps prolong the use of your transfers. I'm gonna try to center the design on my palette board in between my nail holes, if that makes sense, and center it on the board. I just eyeball it. Pretty sure that that drives Eric crazy because he does not eyeball things when he does this with me. He measures it all out. And... Okay. Uh, I just am going to take my squeegee, get all the air bubbles out of it, out from under my transfer. The palette, um, it's got like a a whitewash finish on it, give it a little distressed look. And um, the three palette boards, there's going to be a little crease or a little line in there. So just know that as you're doing your project, this is not going to necessarily get a nice crisp seal on here like it does on our chalkboard surfaces but I think that gives it character. I'm just gonna use two colors. I'm gonna use black and shimmer copper. I think that's a really pretty color. The shimmer colors, they come in quite a few now, um, but think of it as the chalk paste with a bunch of glitter in it. And you can't really see it on camera or when I take a picture, um, but you can really see it in person. I always just kind of take and stir my chalk paste up real good. Get it to the consistency that I like. If it is a little bit thick, like that's a little thick for me, I'm gonna just grab some water. And thin it down just a little bit. So who is decorating for fall? Who decorates for Halloween? We decorate for Halloween a little bit, but we kind of mix it right in with fall. And I don't do anything scary. I'm a big wimp when it comes to that anyway, but I just don't really like anything scary. <laughs> I should be wearing my apron because I just got <laughs> the black chalk paste all over myself, like it splattered all over me. The chalk paste is organic, non-toxic, and it's washable. So when I make a big old mess all over me, I just wash it off. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, okay. So I've got my transfer situated. I'm gonna do around the edges, that's where I'm gonna do the shimmer copper, and then the text will be black or the font, whatever you want to call it. Um, if it gets too hairy, I'm using my mini squeegee, but I may also use my multi-tool if I need to get in there with the detail. We'll kind of see how that goes. And really, you just get the chalk paste on 
you can see the coverage through the silk screen and I know it's going to be really hard for me to show you this unless I kind of hold it up but I'm putting it on nice and thick and then squeegeeing or pulling the chalk paste through the silk screen and getting any of that excess off. It really doesn't take as much as you would think. So our three ounce jars tend to last a while, depending on how you use it and how many projects, all that. But they, it can last a while. Um, and then, like I said, you just put any excess right back in your jar to use for another project. I really tend to kind of rush, so I'm on purpose slowing myself down. Sometimes I even stick my tongue out too. I'm trying not to do that, because that's just embarrassing. The shimmer paste, it's naturally a little bit thicker and more gritty than um, just like a plain colored paste. So know that as you're putting it on, it's supposed to be that way. All that grit is the glitter, but it's so, so pretty. Okay. With the chop paste, you don't have to be in a rush, but you do want to merk, merk. You do want to work a little bit quickly because the chop paste will dry. And if it dries on your transfer, it's not going to hurt anything. What I'm I don't know, I don't know if worried about is the right word, but what I just want to be aware of is if it if I allow it to dry through the silk screen, if it dries onto my surface before I pull the silk screen up to kind of reveal the project, the um the transfer might lift up the paste underneath it and you just don't get go super great coverage because it has lifted up. I am going to need to use something a little smaller to really get that detail work in. I love these two colors next to each other though very pretty okay so I kind of almost have it I'm just gonna use my multi tool because it is a smaller squeegee surface squeegee off the extra, the excess, the extra, and we're ready for the peel and reveal. Gorgeous. Okay. You're just going to lift up. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm just going to, for right now, I'm going to take my transfer, put it on my backer sheet. Let me show you guys and then I'll talk some more. 
What do you think? Doesn't that look so beautiful, just so cute on this white palette board? And then, I mean, I could leave it just like that, or I could add a ribbon or a bow around it. Can you see that? Now clean up, super easy. I'm just gonna take, usually I take these to the sink, but I, uh, remember I said the chalk paste is washable, so I just take some water, my board eraser, which is like the magic eraser for all things chalk, it's amazing for your surfaces, for to wash the squeegees off, to wash your trans, First off, it really prolongs the life of everything, everything. So get yourself a board eraser. Um, but I'm just gonna take some water, um, wash off the front, wash off the back, let it air dry. You do not want to soak these or set these in water for any extended period of time at all because that will diminish the stickiness on the back. So honestly, super simple water, board eraser, clean it off, dry it put it right back on your backer or your transfer sheet and you will store it for another day, another project. All right, I can't wait to add more fall and autumn projects, pieces to the house. But what do you think of this one? Thumbs up. Autumn is the year's last loveliest smile. <laughs>